What is up, YouTube? We have a box. Hello. Dog, don't you bark while I'm doing this again. We have a box of munchies. We think it's munchies. Uh, the Mad Tata sent us a box. You would have saw on my last live. Mad Tata was my special guest. Thank uh, you. Thank you, Andy. Thanks so much. We're going to crack this open. We're going to see what's inside. It's hot as balls in here. Mm -hmm. So we are going to fucking ha crack this open. I've scrubbed out my address so you can't fucking see and <laughs> fucking send me dog shit. No, you can't send me dog shit. All right. Thanks again. This is either going to be munchies from other letter. countries or it's going to be fucking Stitch Up Central. G'day, Robin Kelly. Greetings from the UK. You said you wanted to try some munchies from our country. So here it goes. Giving you a bit of a guide below so you know what's what. Good <laughs> idea. Good work, Andy. If you want a bit of an idea of what to expect in this box, there is a breakdown of the items in, in it. The other pages of note. If you don't want spoilers, though, don't read them or do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, best wishes, Andy, the Mad Tata, and Jonah. Mrs. Mrs. Mad Tata. Mrs. Mad Tata. Ooh. Ooh. This is my box. What are you doing? You're stuffing my hand. Yeah. This is your box. Yeah, I just. I believe it says Rob and Kelly. Oh, okay. We don't have anything to put marmite on. That's right. Let's right just now. give it a go. Just taste the marmite. Yeah. I've never actually tasted marmite. Alright. Oh, I can eat Vegemite by itself, so let's try marmite. Marmite! Okay, so he's saying, <laughs> uh, personally, he'd rather lick his own asshole. <laughs> then eat Vegemite. <laughs> then eat this. Oh, then eat this. Yeah. It's made from a yeast extract left over from the brewing industry. Actually, maybe that's why I like Vegemite so much, because it's kind of the same, right? Mm. I've had yeast infections in my mouth before, so it's all right. Andy's score is 0 out of 10. It's a dog oh. shit. So one of these pods is basically one piece of toast. Mm. It's gooey. That's yeah, good. It's a different texture to Vegemite. Oh, it's like, it's like salty. Salty Vegemite. Nice bit on you? Yeah. yeah. That's all good. I like it. Oh! One more? Uh, no. 9 out of 10. I like that. We did put these in the fridge. I like Didn't that. We? Yeah, it's all been in the fridge. I like that. I like that, Andy. 9 out of 10. It's much of a muchness for me. It just tastes like Vegemite, but salty. And I like salt. So, what's next? Um, well, yeah, what are you doing? 9 out of 10. Oh, yeah, 9 out of 10. I like it. I've never I'll had give a 7. Okay, pickled onion flavour monster munch. I've had this and I love it. So, thank you so much for including this. Uh, baked corn snack with pickled onion flavouring. Oh, let's put a shout out down the bottom there to uh, the Mad Tatters channel. Uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed, go subscribe. I had these years ago and I didn't like them. I love these because I love anything pickled. Oh, we got to show the camera. Monster Munch. Oh, they smell like dick. They smell like fucking dirty Don't cock. Don't say that. Well, they smell like... Because I like them. Well, they smell like dirty dick. Oh, they're fucking gross. I mm. hate them. So good. 10 out of 10. Zero. I hate them. Andy's score is 6 out of 10. And they're little monsters hand. Andy's score is 8 out of 10. Mm. Tasty. It's going to say nasty. Nasty. Good everyday all purpose chip. Yeah, I like them. They taste like bacon. Oh, they're meant to be steak flavour. It tastes like bacon. But mm. they're salty, aren't they? Mm. Um, I'll give them a seven. They're going over my side. I'll give those a five. Oh, but we're, we're I don't keeping... really like anything meat flavored in a chip. Anyway, that's just me. I like them. They're going on my side. So she stole them because last time she took all Tracy's stuff and I didn't get to see. <laughs> prawn crackers. And I make prawn cocktail sauce for Christmas. Oh, they're gonna be like prawn crackers. Prawn cocktail flavor. Oh, it tastes like fish. Yeah, weird. Oh, that tastes like fish. That's a one. Yeah. Oh, skips. That's a one. That's Look, a one. I love fish and... Chops. Chops. Frazzles bacon flavour. 
munchies. I love munchies from other fucking countries. These were also in the school lunchbox. Oh, they're wicked. Oh, mm. they're strong. Very strong. They're really strong. Though. Andy's score is 6 out of 10. All right in controlled doses. I yeah. agree. I'll give it a... And they look like little bacon strips. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. You don't need any more of these ones. I'll put them on Seven. my side. I like that you've put them all in order for us because we would have just, uh, mm. our palate. Oh, that's good. A Walkers. traditional no fuss crisp with an awesome flavour. Andy scores 8 out of 10. Could eat these all day. Ooh, 8 out of 10. They're good. They're really good. Oh, they're fucking chilly. They're nice. Oh, I'll give those an 8 too. They're you can good. taste the chilli on them. I'll give them an 8. Mm -hmm. I don't know this side. Starts off with a nice beefy flavour before the mustard cuts in and clears your sinuses out. 8 out of 10 for Andy. Andy gives it 8 out of 10. He's made himself ill eating too many of these in one go. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, whoa. Oh. That's hot. Oh my fuck. That's like in proper English ah. mustard hot. Ah. I like mustard chips, but fuck me. They're nice. Negative fucking 10. No, I give that a 7. Jesus, get them away from me. That really is really nice. That mustard burns. And it was quick. Straight away, as soon as you swallowed it. Woof. Ter Terrells? Terrells, yeah. Terrells. They've just started selling these over here. I've actually had the salt and vinegar brand of these. This salt and is were good. nearly the perfect crisp. I've had as salt and vinegar. Andy's I've had salt and vinegar in these, Andy. But they're all right. Yeah. I give them a seven. I like the texture of them. Oh. Maybe a different flavour. Yeah. Too much Bernie burns. This is what I'm talking about. So you went mad for the cheese that's from Tracy's. So I thought I'd send your answer to the same thing. Yes, yes, yes. Five out of ten for Andy. I like them. Yeah, they're good. I give them a seven. I like them. They're nice. They're going same, on my side. Same for me, seven. No? Yeah, I'll have some good ones over here. No, no, because... Oh, you've got plenty. No, but those ones are... Oh, you don't need it. You've got five now. Okay. <laughs> Fush and chops. What could be more British than Fush and chops? Fush and chops. I really, really like them. So do I. They're really cool. They taste like the old inner biscuits. All the, really nice. all the Aussies remember drumstick in a biscuit. It looks like drumstick in a biscuit and tastes like it too. They get a, nice. They get a nine and they're going over my side. Yeah, nine out of ten. Um, Andy's score was only five out of ten for this. What? You're correct, what? Right? Nestle Munchies. Well, it's munchies from other countries. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Andy, you sent us so much, man. Thanks, dude. You really went all out. These are gonna be fucking cool. Oh, 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 so. oh they like caramel and stuff. Oh, and biscuit. Mm. I'll give them 10 out of 10. You know what it tastes like? I give those a 9. A caramel. If you've. It tastes like Kit Kat mixed with caramels. And I don't really like Nestle chocolate, but they're really good. No, nah, 9. 9. It's not a 10. I haven't given a 10 yet. Um, I can't Andy's pop my 10 cherry. Seven. I can't pop my 10 cherry yet. Look at all these! Oh my god, there's so much! <laughs> these are the tit looking things wrapped in silver and red foil. Oh yeah, I stuck, <laughs> I stuck my finger in one. I stuck my finger in one already. There was a hair in that one. Tune in Tokyo. Stuck a biscuit in. base with marshmallow mm. and chocolate coating. The sort of thing your granny would give you as a kid. Ooh. His score is 8 out of 10. Granny would give me a belting, not fucking one of these. <laughs> he's pretty sure these are part of the reason he's diabetic these days. Oh gee, thanks. <laughs> we'll share one. Yep. Save you There's like awesomeness in my mouth all at once. That's good. I wouldn't get another one. Actually, I like that. That tastes nice. like. Hold on. I'd have that with a cup of tea. Beautiful. 
I liked it. Um, I wouldn't go buy another one straight away, but I'll give it a nine. I actually would give that a nine. It tasted like... Um, Beautiful. The marshmallow in it mm. is so like meringue. Yeah, meringue pie. They sell six million of these every week. Six million a week? Fucking hell. He says I've got an edge over mm. the tea cakes. Mm. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's two here. Mm, I think these are hitting the 10. Nah, they still don't beat. Um, and he's got an 8.5. Nothing beats Black Thunder yet. No, that's good. I'll give it an 8, but it doesn't beat Black Thunder. So rich. Oh, it tastes like, for Aussies, it tastes like a um, giant timeout. Uh, Cadbury timeout. Tastes like a giant timeout. It's got this vanilla taste to it, though. It's like a giant timeout. Are we making you all hungry? <laughs> I'm going to say 9.5. No. Yeah. We don't have a wagon wheel look like that. That don't look like our wagon wheel. It's a tea cake squashed flat. What the fuck does that mean? Candy store is like the tea cake we had, but it's squashed flat. Oh. Because the marshmallow in it's a lot flatter. Our wagon wheels have jam in them. I like it. That's another eight. Because I like the biscuit. What's next? What is next? Kit Kat Chunky Orange. Yeah. Just there to make up for that dog shit Kit Kat you had in Bali. Yeah, the green tea one. No, that was not dog shit. It was dog shit green tea one. And I'm sorry, Andy, but orange Kit Kat is going to be dog shit as well. You don't mix orange with chocolate. You don't mix orange with chocolate. A lot of people do. It's the thing. Holy shit, that's like Jaffa. <laughs> tastes like a Jaffa, that's awesome. Jaffas. Okay, we have Cadbury's Curly Whirly. We get uh, Curly Whirlies here. We've had Curly Whirlies, so we're not going to open this but one. But they're hard to find. You don't get them everywhere. We're not going to open this one. This one's going in the fridge because we know what Curly Whirlies taste like. Yeah, good idea. And I can tell you right now, Curly Whirly gets an 8 out of 10 every day of the week. We'll keep it in the fridge. That's going in the fridge, that one. So we're keeping the Curly Whirly. We've had a Curly Whirly. Curly Whirlies are fucking sweet. Fudge. Candy score is 9 out of 10. You won't be disappointed. Ooh. No. Well, I do love Cadbury. That's my favourite chocolate in the world. In the world? In the world. Like, what about Universe? I'll give it a 7. I'll give it a 7. It's not like making me go... Mm, mm, mm. Not my favourite. It kind of tastes like ice cream. A little bit. Mm. Mm. All right. 7. Ooh. All right, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more to go. Cadbury's Double Decker. We have this here. No. No? Not this one. Biscuity base with chewy nougat and milk chocolate, a symphony of different textures and an awesome flavor. Andy Stowe is a nine out of 10. Nine, Andy. Is that marshmallow? Marshmallow and rice bubbles. And it's kind of like Black Thunder, but more vanilla-ish. That's a nine. Mm. That's a nine, that's really nice. Really good. Oh, I have a feeling this might be our Aero Bars. Oh. Probably the best delivery system for Cadbury's chocolate that I know. Andy's score is a nine out of ten. Andy loves his chocolate. That just tastes like Cadbury chocolate. That's just a seven for me. Oh, mm. pretty good. All right, so there's four more chocolate bars. We're gonna go, hold on. What are we gonna do first? All right, so we'll do orange first because orange usually sucks. These are another modern take on an old school chocolate bar. Dark chocolate outers with a creamy flavouring, creamy flavour filling. Quality shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it looks like dark chocolate. I would really like dark chocolate. Fun fact, these are the bars which the Scrum Diddly Umptious chocolate bar from the original Charlie and the Chocolate Factory film were based on. And in the film you can tell that there's a, just a bigger version of the ones we sent you. Oh my goodness. Oh. These are the chocolate bars from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh. Um, Andy, I didn't like that. Sorry. Will, Willy Wonka can suck a dick. Yeah, I didn't like that. That other orange one that you had was nice, but this is like... Okay, so this is the plain one. Mm. Uh-uh. Oh, it's not, it's me. I'm not a dark chocolate fan. I don't like that one either. No! What scores did he give it? Nine and a half. I am dude. So we got raspberry and green left. This actually might be like a cherry ripe a little bit. Oh, that will be actually. Well, you can tell by the way I use my walk, I'm a woman's man. Oh, that's nice. Mm, you can have it. Okay, so that one's really good. That one's really good. That's a fucking eight. Whoa. Ugh. 
It is sickly sweet. No, that one is really, really good. Oh my goodness. Orange, I need a monster munch. Orange and plain were disgusting. That was beautiful. I need to cleanse my palate. And green. Oh, don't try green. You'll hate it. Green's a seven. It tastes like those ones that's on your bed when you go to a hotel. Dog shit. Can't do with them. <laughs> I need some savoury just to put in my mouth before I have this beer. I reckon. Not fucking monster much. Lastly, we've got Robinson's Trooper beer. 4.7 horsepower. Made in conjunction with Iron Maiden. Oh! The trooper. Wait, look. And featuring their imagery on the bottle, this beer is brewed in my hometown of Stockport. Woo! I'm yeah. looking forward to this. Oh man, i got to show the camera that. I'm keeping that bottle. Onward okay, and onward, roll the god! Crack it. Kelly shouldn't be allowed to have any of this because Kelly says she doesn't want to go to the Iron Maiden concert because I don't. she said that um, the singer, Bruce Dickinson, his voice is shit and he screams. Yeah. I can't hear him. He's screaming and I still can't hear him. Six, 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 the number of the beast! I just feel like the band are actually purposely trying to drown him out because he's so shit. Oh my god, you can't say that and then drink the troop I'm, sh I'm sure he w used to be you fantastic. Can't. He is fantastic still, it's going to be a great concert. Trooper! That tastes like a swan draft. That tastes like WA beer swan draft. That is beautiful. That is 10 out of 10. Oh, that's good. It's so refreshing in here because it's so hot. 10 out of 10. That has mar that has won my munchies from other countries. My Ditto. That and the fish and chips. So... They're our winners. Uh, I did say in one of my videos I wasn't allowed to give scores on beers because Dory the Flipper does that. Oh, sorry. But... For beer-wise, that gets a 10 out of 10. Well, these are our winners. Brad, Diary of a Flipper, you need to taste that. That is fucking beautiful. And he loves Iron Maiden as well. But if it comes down to munchies for the day... We'll do a sweet one as well, which I think was the caramel bar. No, it was this one, eh? The Nestle's munchie, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, that yeah, the caramel bar. So we've got... Mm, fish and a chips. A sweet and a savoury. Definitely fish and chips is the winner. For the munchies there. Caramel bar. Caramel bar as well was good. It was and the I, best of the sweet. No, I like the red packet. Oh, you like the munchies. But I tell you what, those fucking mustard flavoured chips were wrong. <laughs> and you, he, he wrote that he eats them. Six, 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 the number of the beast. So good. That is wicked and I'm going to put the bottle up there and wash it. It's going to go next to Kamal. You're going to wash it. Yeah, it's going to go next to Kamal. Alright, thanks everyone for watching. That was a mystery unboxing from the Mad Tata, Andy himself. Mr. And, and Mrs. Mad Tata. His missus, and his missus as well. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Joanna. We loved it. Thanks heaps. Oh, I left out of the thing. Um, Marmite was fucking awesome. It was a salty Vegemite. Marmite is a salty yeah. Vegemite. That was up there. I love the Trooper beer. I love the fish and chips. I love the whole thing. Thanks for sending it to us. Make this little extra video, send a thumbs up our way, or, you know, click like, subscribe, do what the fuck you want, I don't give a shit, but, uh, do what you want, we just do these videos for fun as well, little extra ones, don't have to do thrifting ones all the time, and, um, go over to the Mad Tatters channel, check it out, and check out the live, if you don't know who the Mad Tatter is, look at my last live, the Saturday morning live, I did a live with him, we had a good chat, had some good fun anyway. I'm getting out of here. I got sweat drippy drippy from my balls and uh, it's time to get out of here.